Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for September. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This may um, not resonate the day that you watch it. It may, but keep in mind that this is a preview. Um, this is for the month of September. This is being recorded in August, like August 15th. So this is a reading for September. It may resonate now, but really keep this in mind. Now, the first card I saw was the lovers. <laughs> so the lovers is an unexpected choice in love. So you probably are going to be presented with um, an un unexpected choice in love, right? A decision. This could be very compatible. It's meant to be when you see the lovers. So this this, this is a choice between two options as well, okay? So, because there's a choice here. So when there's a choice, there's a choice between two options. So you have a choice at this point whether you want to fall in love with somebody else or not. So that's what the, we got here. It's probably very unexpected. Um, this is, The Lovers is also a card of contract and it's a card of consequences. So you need to, you know, be aware of the consequences of your decision. Um, you have an opportunity to start a new contract with somebody. Then I see the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is very exciting. This is an exciting new opportunity, a very passionate opportunity. This could be a new partner, a new sexual partner. doesn't have to be. This is something very exciting, something that can grow. There's some sort of instant um, attraction, perhaps. It's very sudden. The Ace of Wands also says to go for it. Go for it. So you may get this thing. You may see something, okay? You get this new vision. You see something. It's very attractive to you. Um, it's not what you expected, and now you have to choose. You have to make a choice. Do you want it or not? Um, beware that there's consequences for your decision. If you choose not to, you could lose it. It could go south. You know, you, you could lose it really quick, okay? If you choose to, it could really grow with that Ace of, Ace of Wands. Um, let me see what else comes in. For Libra. A three of Wands. Three of Wands is something you have been waiting for. This this is your ship arriving. Could be your relationship. Some, so, I don't know. Some sort of ship is arriving and you have an opportunity to get on board. Something you have probably been waiting for. Maybe you've been getting prepared for it. And here it is. It's right in front of you. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is, Libra, but we got the Two of Cups. So I'm not sure if you are about to fall in love or what, but this is this could absolutely be emotionally fulfilling to you. Let's get started. This could be very compatible, very very compatible, whatever it is. Um, there is some sort of challenge though, because then I just see the Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Wands have been very prominent lately. And the Nine of Wands is challenge. Okay, it's you needing to be strong and you needing to let down some of your barriers perhaps you may have this barrier around you that you need to um, break down you know you need to open yourself up and, and let down your guard perhaps um, yeah so what do we got for Libra for September all is well 444 four, four. <laughs> Four, four, four. Where did that come from? Now, four is an angel number. Four is divine, divine protection. It's universal protection. Um, there's invisible forces here that, and you think about the lovers card. There's an angel bringing two people together. So it's almost like there's angelic guidance bringing you together with somebody that you are meant to be with. But it may not be who you expected it to be because that is the element of the lover's card. So it may not be who you thought it was. Interesting. Libra. What do we got for Libra for September? Ooh, death. This is a new life. This is a new beginning. Endings bring new beginnings. So this is a transformation. This is a change, a major life change. So this is not a bad thing. This is a this is the the beginning of something new. Endings 
lead you to new beginnings. So we have a release and we have a new beginning here. We do. I think that something is arriving very, very quick. The chariot is on the bottom of that deck. So then both the death and the chariot card are the are both cards of transformation. So things are about to transform for you in a very big way, okay? Um, I think that something is arriving very, very quickly into your life. I think that you are headed in the right direction. You're headed towards a new beginning, a new life. And something is, is being removed, okay? With death, there's an ending. So something is ending and something new is beginning. Um... But it is, I see that nine of wands again. There's, there's a chip. Oh, look at that. I told you. I did. I did. I told you. So we got the lovers here. I mean, I can't. It is, it is what it is. So you got, you have a new soulmate connection here. I do feel like this is new. It's unexpected. I feel like you didn't see it coming. I feel like there's a deep connection. There's a deep bond that is, go or there's a bond that is about to deepen. I feel like there's a mutual attraction here. Um, there is happiness, but there's some sort of sadness as well. Oh, yes. They just clarify everything I say. It's just the way it goes. So there is some element of sadness. These could be tears of joy. I don't know. You may be overwhelmed. You may be overwhelmed with the ending and the new beginning. You may be. Oh, you didn't see it coming. You did not expect this. They're mirroring each other, okay? You did not expect this new opportunity. Um, there's sadness. This is both sadness over a, a release. Maybe you have to let somebody go to allow this new lover to enter your life, whatever it is. King of Swords, that's you making a decision. Making a decision. Really thinking about it. I think that you are thinking about it. I think that you know you have to make a decision. You might, somebody, you know, may get hurt because of the decision that you make. Um, two of Cups. I knew it. I knew it. I did. I knew it. Uh, so yeah, there's an opportunity for love here. And I think that you are, you may be, you know, maybe you're feeling guilty or you're feeling bad or, or, you know, that you have to let, let something go. Something has to end so that you can allow this union to happen. Here, your challenge, your challenge is giving it a chance, relocating perhaps, um, I got a sneeze coming, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> liberation, freedom, you guys may be relocating, you may be, um, well obviously we have an ending here, this is breaking free, this is liberation, this is freedom. Freedom from an unhappy situation that you invested a lot of time in. So I feel like, and that's why the death card is here. I think that there's no more growth where you've been. You have this new opportunity. And I think that you are probably, it's like going back and forth in regards to whether you are actually ready. But I feel like you are ready. Um, King of Wands reversed. Eight of Swords, getting freed, getting free. It's like you're not going to confine yourself anymore. This is breaking free. This is um, facing your fears, taking that mask off, getting unbound, getting untied from something that really, really hurt you. So I feel like you guys are, you may be moving to a new place. You may be thinking about moving to a new place. I think that you are definitely in control. I think that you are making a serious decision this month. I feel like um, 
there is some sort of uh, suffering, okay, that, that has happened. Okay, this is sadness, this is sadness, this is suffering. I feel like there's some sort of pain that you are enduring. I'm just, I'm being honest with you, over a release. But this release is going to allow you to... Uh, not be trapped anymore, not be confined. It's going to allow you to be more in control. It's like the, it's like you're going to gain the power. It's like the power is going to be given to you in somehow, in some way. So Libra, I feel like in your, this is your external environment. You could be dealing with a fire sign that really hurt you or a fire sign. Something could be ending with a fire sign. Um, this is a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Something that was keeping you stuck. Something that was keeping you bound. Doesn't have to be a fire sign. Whoever it is, you, you could be dealing with a person that um, doesn't really reciprocate. This person may have anger issues. This person may not be focusing. This person... Um, may be lazy, this person may be miserable, you know, may have be, be have this miserable, you know, poor, poor, pitiful me attitude, and this person may be holding you back, but you may be, and it feels like you're breaking free from this person, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like you're breaking free, and you're, and you're headed in, to, into some sort of union with somebody that you, that feels almost like it's euphoric, okay, it feels like it's, um, too good to be true. I don't know what this is, but that's what I feel like this is. I feel like you did not see this coming. I feel like it is quite unexpected. I feel like either this this person could be breaking free from you. I mean, this could go multiple directions. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, now that I sneeze, I gotta blow my nose. I have to apologize. Um, Right now, there's there. This is this is freedom. Right now, you, during September, September, you are going to feel very liberated. You are going to feel very free. It's like you've been broken free from something that confi confined you, and even though it's painful, even though it's painful, it's going to bring you something unexpected. It's going to bring you an unexpected union of some sort. So if, if it, maybe it already has, and this, this, this union, this bond is about to deepen. And I think that you don't even see it. You don't see it coming, but I think that, that it's unpredictable. It was unpredictable, but this is around the corner. So I feel like there's something that you don't see that is about to happen that is going to liberate you in some way. Okay. It's going to liberate you. Um, there could, this could be a painful separation of some sort. It doesn't have to be with your lover. It could be with a friend. It could be with a family member. It could be with a child. It could be with a parent. I don't know. There is some sort of painful separation that leads you towards uh, a new contract, a new partnership of some sort. And you, and you don't see it. You don't see it coming. There's definitely a, a connection here. Um, strength. You may feel, you may feel, strength reversed. You may feel sick. You may feel weak. You, you could definitely be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Debbie Downer. You could be dealing with somebody that holds you down, that has been holding you down. Um, I'm not sure if it's a Leo, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like... Um, This is not mastering your emotions. You may be feel, feeling weak. You may, you know, you may be feeling like you're not strong enough or you're not good enough. You may have, there could be a self-image problem here. You know, you may feel like you're not good enough, like you did something wrong. I don't think you did anything wrong. I don't think that you did anything wrong. You got a new opportunity for love here and that's all there is to it. This is a new opportunity for love. You may not be able to restrain yourself because the attraction is so big. It's a big opportunity for love. So Libra, expect the unexpected. I feel like you absolutely have a big opportunity for love. Okay, we got the Empress on the bottom. 
Okay, that you could be dealing, and this could be you if you are the female, or if you are the male, you could be dealing with another, you could be dealing with another Libra or a Taurus. Taurus is represented by the Empress, Venus, so isn't Libra. So this is you. This is you. If this is the birth of a new life, this is the goddess of love. Everybody can see you're glowing. You're glowing. Um, if you are the male watching this, this is who you you are who you are coming together with. This is somebody who will take very good care of you. This person is very nurturing, tender, loving, compassionate, strong, has a lot of life experience, knows their value, knows their worth. Um, this is potential for something very, very abundant and, and, and loving. So I feel like you are about to receive something. This is the gift. This is a gift. This is a miracle. This is a blessing. You know, <laughs> you are being blessed with a new opportunity and this new opportunity does involve love, abundance, um, you know, it's time. It's time for the delivery. It's time for you to receive. It, it is. It's time. It's time. She's ready. She's ready to deliver. So whoever you are dealing with, if you are the if you are the male watching this, you are dealing with somebody who, who is ready to deliver. This person is ready to deliver you, you know, what you have. Remember the three of wands, what you have been waiting for. If you are the female watching you watching this, this is you. You are glowing. <laughs> you are ready. It's ba basically you're ready to start your new life so and somebody sees your beauty and they think that you are beautiful they think that you are beautiful and they want to take care of you they think that you are the pick of the litter there's a there's a deep connection here with somebody um somebody could even get pregnant if that's if you're at that stage in your life, there could be a pregnancy. Um, this could even be a reconnection with your mother if you are a child, not a child, but if you're young, you know, whatever. There's, there could be a there could be a reconnection with a mother, um, a real mother. Um, anyhow, there's an unexpected partnership here that is coming into focus. It's time. It's time. So just, just keep that in mind. You have a new beginning here that leads to a huge amount of love. So <laughs> I don't think you saw it coming, but here it is. Here it is. There's bad, definitely a strong attraction. Strong, strong, strong attraction. Um... So Libra, get ready because... You're going to receive an offer of love that you probably cannot or will not be able to restrain yourself from. It's probably going to make you feel euphoric, like I said. Good luck.